Hey there. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the best ways to teach and how to prepare for a history lesson. Being a teacher in this era, it is very important to have a designed and prepared lesson plan for your subject. History teachers have much to cover in their lessons where they have to establish a connection with the past and the present to spark interest in their students. However, what is the best way to teach history in these times? The best way to teach history or any other subject is to utilize education technology through the right means. ChatGPT has been a great addition to this innovation. However, it does not offer the right potential for usage by teachers and students likewise. Thus, before preparing for a class, a teacher should definitely seek refuge from a diagramming tool to assist in their teaching. What else would be better than eDrawMind? a tool powered by ChatGPT that provides a comprehensive system to prepare for classes. And being a teacher, you will never face issues in preparing a lesson and improve your teaching by exponents. The first step to top class teaching in the education sector is to create a course outline. This stands as one of the most important pillars in lesson planning. While teaching the history subject, you might inquire about how to make history engaging for your students. For that, you need to employ the use of proper tools that can assist you in creating the perfect outline. This, however, is not restricted to creating a lesson plan, but to making history an interesting subject. eDrawMind is a dedicated mind mapping tool that provides proper functions for creating the perfect mind map. Mind maps serve as the basic outline for any process that is to be carried out, which gives you a course of action to follow. While eDrawMind stands as the perfect diagramming tool for teachers, this tutorial is based on stretching mind mapping techniques for teachers. To know how you can employ eDrawMind to create the perfect mind map for the development of course outline of the history subject, give a view at the steps that will follow through this video. Eventually, you will be able to brainstorm yourselves and sort out the course outline properly for your students. First, make sure to open up eDrawMind with the most recent software update, and then you can select eDraw AI powered mind mapping in the new section Then press start exploring to get going. And the AI window right here, you can type pretty much anything. So it can be commanded to execute a specific query like AI history timeline. And then we press one click generation and you'll see it'll quickly create a history timeline. This is so cool. After obtaining this AI mind map and guiding yourselves to the creation of the perfect course outline, you need to direct toward the first lesson. There are two particular things that you should keep in mind during the lesson planning for the first time. Number one, you have to make an engaging introduction to the course and yourself. Failure to do so will not help in creating a bond with your students that can be used to indulge deeply in the subject. Number two, do prepare a proper icebreaker session for the students. Get to know them and figure out their interests. This will help you diverge your lessons into different styles that can help the students learn and love the subject. Has the course outline creation been halted at some point? Is there a particular section within the outline that you are unable to dissect? eDrawMind does not restrict its AI mind map creation to this particular point. The diagramming tool is exclusively elaborative about providing details on every cell that is created in the mind map. This particular process referred to as a knowledge thinking map is featured by eDrawMind. With all the step-by-step -step directions for creating a mind map, you will be able to generate the perfect knowledge thinking map for your history subject. You can utilize the services of a mind map to disassemble a particular knowledge point within the map, which is quite easy with eDrawMind. There is a specific benefit to managing a knowledge thinking map for your subject. It provides perspectives to the students for effective brainstorming, which can be quite helpful in the process. The brace map is a great way to define the entire knowledge thinking map for the history subject, as this requires the need to identify the components within the study. Since the history subject covers this specific niche, the brace map is the best way to execute the entire knowledge thinking of a component. However, to know how this can be continued with eDrawMind, let's look thoroughly at the steps for a better review of creating a knowledge thinking map. So first of all, as you have created a mind map about the history subject, the next thing that you're going to do is to continue to expand on the subject. So you can click on the concept that you wish to expand. So for example, this early machine over here, and then click on AI generate and click one click mind map. eDraw AI is thinking. 
and then you'll see that it's going to expand on what is within this section. You'll be able to extend the knowledge map with the right details of the component using the assistance of eDraw AI in the mind map. If I zoom out, you can see it expanded on that specific subject very much so. You can see, for example, in 1950, Alan Turing proposed the Turing test as a measure of machine intelligence. Now next, let's talk about AI content generation. There's always a need to assist with the content apart from creating the mind map on eDraw Mind. To make this possible, the diagramming tool features an option to improve the content using AI. The AI content generation features helps you in content creation with continuous directions. To understand how the particular feature can assist you in AI speech writing, the tutorial continues by offering guidance in the steps. So next, as you have opened up the canvas in the eDraw Mind, continue to this AI section right here and select eDraw AI. Once a window pops up, turn on the continuous dialogue option right here. And as you can see, the continuous dialogue is enabled and the next AI message will bring the chat history after it is enabled and the consumption of eDraw AI tokens will be accelerated. And next, what we can put within here is write the speech for an AI history class and then press enter and it will write it out right here for you. The AI is going to return some comprehensive speech here involving the topic. What you can do here is click generate theme and what that will do will generate a theme for this particular speech. So right here, you can see everything that it spit out. You can also copy the speech on your clipboard by pressing this right here, as you can see, it copies it on the clipboard and paste it somewhere else that you see fit. After a progressive introduction, you need to keep up your pace with a great presentation. Using visual elements to assist your work and information is one of the finest ways of communicating. Giving a presentation requires you to cover a list of elements, which might be impossible in manual terms. However, eDraw Mind presents a dedicated AI painting feature for the creation of visual elements that can help in communication with teachers. eDraw Mind assists a highly diverse set of elements to help teachers in covering their subject. Being a history teacher, you can utilize the mind map to cover all the important dynamics. However, the information should not only exist in the form of text. Thus, the need for visual elements and presentations is vital in the teaching sector. eDraw Mind will come up with a one-click PPT generation and a theme traversal feature in its AI section. This particular addition will help teachers in giving a presentation without any hindrance. Collaborative learning is the key to an effective understanding of a subject. Teachers should promote online learning and collaboration between students to insulate a healthy environment of working in connection. Although online learning can be considered one of the many ways of learning a subject, connecting it with a collaborative project can prove worthwhile. Being a teacher, you can involve the students in an online project that needs to be covered in teams. Including such an assignment and requiring a mind map as a final product can be made easy with eDraw Mind. However, eDraw Mind Online provides a dedicated system of collaboration that helps improve virtual learning in students. With text to world connections, students can get involved with each other. Projects such as casting out the origins of historical events can be considered the best option to know how eDraw Mind Online can help in working in groups. Follow the simple guide as follows. Now you're going to go to eDraw Mind Online and log into your account. So as I create a new mind map, I can do a one-click AI mind map, for example, or just create a new mind map and then do AI history lesson, one-click generation. And then on the top right, I can press share file and you can share this with others. So if I copy this link, this is how students can collaborate with each other by pasting this out, for example. See that it'll bring me to another page and it'll show the different users on the top right that are seeing this mind map. You can share this document as a public view file or edit file. By clicking public sharing, you can make the link public. So when enabled, anyone with the link can view it. You can set a password to it or use a QR code as well. You also can invite others to collaborate by a link or by email. And after you invite those other users to collaborate, you can observe their presence on the mind map. For example, you can see that other user that was there inside of the mind map based on what they're clicking on. I can see it right here in real time. And you can also add a comment. So to add a comment, use the call out option by using this button at the top or pressing Alt Enter and leave a comment that then the other person would see and anyone else that would be collaborating in here. Now, being a teacher, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind to become a better guide for your students. 
there are many teaching strategies that one can follow to make a good environment for their students. However, if we are asked to depict how to be an effective teacher, the following tips can be one of the many things that a teacher can do. One, it's important to be aware of the students that you are teaching. It includes their gender, age, nationality, and expectations. Number two, create a detailed lesson plan that is possible with tools like eDrawMind. Number three, you should also practice your gestures while presenting a presentation on your subject. Also record your timing to keep a check on the restrictions that you are left with while teaching. With that, we come to an end of preparing for a history lesson with eDrawMind. eDrawMind provides dedicated AI tools that make lesson planning and creation easy. The use of eDrawMind AI can guide students and teachers to improvement. And this eDrawMind tutorial has shown how valuable the tool is for learning and teaching users.